So put the weight on your thighs, then lie down, put it all the way on the ball, and then bring those weights to your chest as you're lying down, keeping the weight on the ball, picking up your hips, and then we're gonna press and uh, count two seconds down. When you finish, sit on the ball before you get up. Don't get up before. Make sure you sit it and then get up. Next exercise, we're doing the plank for one minute. Keep your body stable and straight like more strong like steel. If you're sliding back, that means there is a lot of weight on your feet. So switch that weight to the front, to your elbows. If your elbows are getting tired, your shoulders, you're leaning forward too much, you're just lying fo you're sliding forward, that means that you're putting a lot of weight on your upper body. Switch that weight to your legs. That's what your core is doing, switching that way all the time and make sure if you keep your body evenly, that way you're not sliding forward or sliding back, you just feel it exactly on your core. Hold it for one minute, sticking your chest out. If it gets too easy, you can always use a weight on top of you. So, good job. Let's go to the next exercise. Next, we're gonna do one leg squat. So step away around a foot or eight inches from the bench. And then bend your knee 90 degrees, squatting. So sitting on the bench and then coming up. Remember the opposite foot is gonna be on, in the air all the time. So sit and then use your heel and come up. Let's do 10 repetitions. When you're finished, what you're gonna do is Switch to the other leg and do 10 on the other side again. For the cardio, we are going to do running jump. So imagine like you're running and then jump. When you're jumping, you keep one leg in front, the other one on the back, bending both legs, both knees, I should say, one flexing. Both of them are flexing, but one is pointing up, the other one is pointing down. Then switch and do it again. Use your hands to grab momentum and let's do that running jump motion. You're going to do this for one minute. Remember when you finish, Repeat the four exercises and take a minute break. Good job. Next, we're working our back by doing the T rows. Feet shoulder width apart, a little bit wider. Stick your butt chest out, lean forward, stand. Your knees should be in line with the handle. Then make sure you roll, bringing those arms up to the ceiling, extending your arms completely. Let's do 10 repetitions. Next exercise, we do a Romanian deadlift, working our hamstrings with the dumbbells. Bend your knees, bow out, chest out, feet straight, lean forward. Focus on pushing your butt and chest out. Don't focus on touching the floor. If you do that, sometimes you hunch. Remember what is more important is keeping you form. So stick your butt and chest out as you lean it forward. Let's do 10 repetitions. You should feel it on your hamstring right behind your leg and also your, your lower back and your glutes. For that cardio, we're gonna do a sprint takeoff. So imagine like you're sprinting, you want one foot in front, like a lunge position, leaning forward, putting your hands in the bottom, and then get all the power forward and just step forward to one foot and then switch, turn around, and you're gonna do it again. Take your time, make sure once again your brain learns this motion 
and then once you learn it put all the power into it and once again let's do 60 seconds repeat these exercises four times taking a minute break and good job let's go to the next exercises Next, we're working on triceps by doing the chain tricep extension. The more you lie down closer to the wall, the more difficult, the more you're standing away from the wall, the easier it's gonna be because you're taking way away from the triceps. Flex and extend those elbows. Don't move your shoulders, just flex, bring your whole body to the chain and then push yourself away from the chain without moving your shoulder so you don't hit your head with the chain. Next, we're doing the rollout. You can do it on your toes, you can do it on your knees. It's the same thing, the same motion, the same form. You want your hips to follow your hands. And when you come back, you want your hands to follow your butt. Don't drop your hips or don't keep your hips behind. You want to work your core and the way to do it is by following your, your hands with your hips when you're going away and when you're coming back it's you need to follow your butt with your hands if you can go all the way down go halfway check our library how to do exercises on YouTube you can find our library there and we go over details with this exercise I recommend you watch it and let's go to the next exercise okay palms down when you do this exercise we're gonna do military press with a squat so get into squatting position officially with a power wider use your heels push your butt back let's go on 90 degrees or lower then bring that bar to the chest then when you come up and extend your knees you want to extend your arms and bring the bar above your head not in front this is not a push print this is a military press just above your head and then do it again, do the same motion, lowering your butt, using your heels, pushing your butt back, bringing the bar straight down to your chest, get momentum and come up. Let's go to the cardio. For the cardio, we're doing the side slam. So twist to the side, like a launch position, and bend your knee and extend the one that is on the uh, opposite side of the ball and then slam the ball and then twist and do the opposite side grab the ball and do it again and do it again for a whole minute keep that great form of course you're getting tired that's the whole point of the cardio and let's do 60 seconds when you finish remember to repeat these exercises four times taking a minute break in between and that's it you have completed the program great job